Hello, uh, another new video and uh, another new location. Um, I've come to spend a few days in the Lake District. This is Derwent Water. You may recognise this if you've been up here. This is uh, the view, a surprise view overlooking the lake. Um, this is one of my favourite lakes in the whole of the Lake District, uh, not just because of the sheer beauty, but also for the, the variety of shots and locations there are just concentrated on this one lake. Um, if we look across from here, we've got uh, Cat Bells over there, which obviously you can climb up and get fantastic views of the lake. Um, you've got the Fells of Skiddor and Blencathra in the north. Um, we've also got Castle Rig Stone Circle just up the road there in the north. Um, then you've got the jetties all around the uh, edges of the lake, both on the east and west sides, which make great shots to do in the morning. Um, you've got views from the south, views from the north, where obviously where uh, Keswick is, and you've got the Keswick Launch and Friars Crag over there, just outside the town. Um, you've got uh, uh, Ashness Bridge just over here, which we're going to do, and um, Wading Lake Tarn just up the road there. So lots to see, lots to do. So I'm going to visit some of those locations and uh, hopefully show you just what, uh, what can be achieved here. So the first shot I'm doing here is the classic view of Ashness Bridge. Um, it's the first shot you have to do when you come to Derwent Water. It's in the rule book, check if you don't believe me. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a lovely view. You've got the view of uh, the bridge with um, Skiddor in the background making a nice dramatic backdrop. Um, so just setting up here just by the river, camera in the vertical format with a grad to hold back the sky and an ND filter just to blur the water a bit. So adds a bit of movement softens the water and contrasts nicely with the rock so it's a classic view but it's a really nice one to do anyway. I'm up before sunrise this morning. Um, luckily it's not too early because this time of year it's about seven o'clock in the morning. But I'm off down to a uh, Hawes End Jetty to see if I can get some atmospheric conditions down there at the lakeside. Uh, it's been clear skies overnight so um, there's not much cloud in the sky this morning so uh, where we're going to get the colour I, I'm wanting uh, we're not sure so we'll just have to see what happens when we get down there. Well here we are at Hawes End Jetty. Well, there's bags of atmosphere down here, but yeah, those uh, clear skies aren't helping with the colour. There would be a, could be a blaze of colour up there if there was a lot more cloud up there. I actually um, rescheduled this shoot from earlier this week when there was rain forecast to later in the week, which is now, just so I had more chance of getting some sun. And it looks like I'm getting just those clear skies instead all day, which us photographers are never happy. So anyway, I'm going to set up and uh, see what shot I can get because obviously we've got this lovely mist on the water. Okay, I've moved over to the right hand side of the jetty now, um, looking north, I can just see the, uh, the fells being lit up in the distance there, 
and I've got these nice rocks down here in the water which can be used as foreground. Um, I'm just getting the jetty in the shot just on the left of my frame at the moment but as I move around I might even lose it totally. But it's looking really nice here um, and I'm, I'm framing these up as a square shot so still getting that lovely little bit of mist hovering on the water so hopefully that will be picked up in the, in the photograph. But yeah, not too bad, not the perfect conditions, not the best we've had here but uh, we're making the most of it, it's looking, it's looking nice. So whilst I'm on the uh, west side of Derwent Water, I thought I would finish off the set here at Brandle Hell Jetty. Uh, sun's still hiding behind all that cloud up there. So we're going to go for a very minimalist type of look, but the jetty can uh, be included in that. So I think that's going to finish off this morning shoot over here. I don't seem to be having much luck on this occasion. This is the centenary stone, um, but really and ideally it should be in water. I've been here on previous occasions where I've been uh, sort of ankle high in water from uh, standing here, but it's not quite working on this occasion. Obviously there hasn't been enough rain in the Lake District prior to my visit. so. Um, yeah, so perhaps one for you to check out when you're in this location, see if the water level's a bit higher, but um, I think I'm going to go back around the far side, or the way I came in over there. Um, I think I saw some rocks that are in the water, so they're going to be my composition um, to do this view for today. But um, no, this one's not going to quite work for me today. So I have to admit, I was struggling a bit back there. I just couldn't find the composition I wanted. So. I come back round the bay, past the centenary stone again, and I found these rocks just over here now. Slightly different angle of view and different composition to what I was going for. I wanted to bring that the whole of that hillside into it, but I just can't get the, uh, the composition one. There's not enough rocks. So I found this shot here. Again, keeping it very simple with those two rocks at the front there. They're gonna be my foreground. Set the camera up, gonna get wet feet. Well, you gotta suffer for your art here, so. Um, should have bought me wellies. <laughs> so I've just come back to get me 10 stop filter just to smooth out this water because I want this to be a very simple composition with the, the mountains and the rocks in the foreground. So I think that's going to be my view. morning. Another early dawn patrol. This time I've uh, headed up to the north of the lake. Uh, this is climbing up a lap rig now. Uh, it's not too bad one to do this because uh, you can drive up to most of it, most of the height and park in the uh, car park up there. So it's just this uh, last little stretch to climb. Um, it's a cloudy one this morning, complete opposite to yesterday. But there is some colour in the distance there where the sun is rising, so whether it's going to break through the cloud, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to climb up to the top, set myself up and just wait and see what happens. So fingers crossed.
Well, unfortunately, the, uh, the cloud hasn't broken over to the left there. So we haven't got the light that I was hoping for, but that's the, the nature of landscape photography. It's a, it's a gamble all the time. But it's been nice to be up here anyway. Well, that's my time up in the Lake District. Hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the locations and uh, it's inspired you to come to Derwent for the first time or to revisit and have a look at these new locations. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Till next time. <laughs>